How are we doing guys? Welcome to the Foxes Down For Another Shave video and today we've got a little bit of a theme going on today we've got a little bit of an American theme going on today not all of it's American but a lot of it's American so for instance we've got we're going to use Rex Ambassador that's American we're going to use the fine accoutrements mixing bowl I'm going to use the PAA pre-shave if I remember we're going to use a new brush from Pearl the American 24mm I believe brush now these are out of Pennsylvania I think it's Pennsylvania no it's not it's all a lie it's Boston Massachusetts USA that's the blade we're going to use today and the soap we're going to use is cre creolum creoline <laughs> I can't say it but this is a sample what my friend Chuck Shaving sent me and I'll put a link to uh, Chuck's channel below in the description go and check him out guys cracking bloke cracking bloke he is tell some lovely stories just some good shaves and everything uh, uh, and this the set notes on this are apple cedar you can smell apple and cedar and bellflower I don't know what bellflower is I've no idea and, and musk it's a bit of musk in it and all but it smells nice it smells good stuff that's it look they sent me loads and loads of samples bless him then it smells good we're using obviously we're gonna this, this is not well we hang on a sec this is swedish so so the american brush in the swedish cooks and after shave that we've got splash this barber shop from sterling so we've got that another thing that's not I don't know where that's made actually. That's not made in America, is it? Alan Block, no. I wouldn't have thought so. I don't know. No idea. Don't know where Alan Block's made. And Thayer's. London, I think. The Ozean Thayer's. Coconut, which I like that one. So we've got a pretty good shave today, guys. So what I'm going to do, I'll get a blade in this razor. Uh, mix some lather up and get all ready and I'll fetch you back in a sec alright guys I'll fetch you back just put the blade in there look in the old Rex Ambassador And there to soak. We'll get a bit of water on the old boat race and take the lads and lasses off first. Yeah, dear. It's ever so warm here. Really close. No sun out. It's been thought I'll show you that and all that. It's been thundering and lightning. But it's really, really close. You know, you can't get no air. Jesus. Oh, that's lovely. That is. I stand that all day long. <laughs> And if you can hear birds in the background, we've got a little vent in shower, you know, like a little uh, vent to let to let steam out. And one of the damn things got up there and nested in there, so we can't have a fan on that. We have to let them nest where they are. When you keep going to the shower and putting shower on, they start chirping like hell, they play hell, as if it's my fault. <laughs> but, there you go, they're all right where they are, they're fine. So 
So how have you all been guys? Hope you've all been good. I'm glad I played leg and Chuck's getting a little bit better. They've not been very good. But uh, uh, anyhow, they're on the men now, I think, so up here. So. Right. It smells really fresh, really nice and fresh, it does. Let's get plenty on. We only had two past shape, guys. Oh no, not straight down my shirt. Clean shirt. But hey, this lathers up well. Do you know what I've had to do? I've had to do it all in cold water. Because I forgot to put boiler on this morning. So uh, anyhow, I'm not bothered. Because in cold water means a cold shave for me, so. I'll uh, put a link to this manual uh, in the description. Vanuel is a uh, cracking company out of America. Well, uh, uh, Chuck uses them pretty... Oh, Chuck uses them pretty readily. And uh, he likes their stuff. And I've got to say, it's the first time I've tried their stuff. And it really is nice. So ever so slick stuff. It's beautiful soap. really is beautiful soap. I'm going to put this uh, Rex Ambassador, I've got it on, I've got it on number four. I'm going to turn it down to three and a half. I just don't, I just want to see a nice relaxing kind of smooth shave today. Right, I'm going to cross. So what you all been up to this week, last week, whatever, I lose track of time, me. My son's just gone on holiday. Guess where he's gone? Maldives. That can't be bad, can it? Maldives, him and his partner. She's 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 got her own business. She's got her own scrap business, like, and uh, he's got his own business. He's an electrician, so they've uh, they're not without money, pair of them. Closest I get to Maldives is Skegness. You, you're in America, you'll not know what his skegness is, but it's just bloody up today for some reason. This don't know why that is. I wonder if it's because I've got it too tired, I don't know, whatever. Yep, thought I'd do a bit of a American theme today for all the people in the good old US of A, our brothers in arms. That's not bad, that to be fair. Not bad for the first pass. Pity we don't have gun laws like 
and then he could have, we can't have any guns in this country. And I had shotguns before, um, not mean, but I had a firearm certificate, which I had a 22 Ruger 1022 uh, rimfire rifle, 10 shot. But I never really used it, so I gave it up. If we'd, have, if we'd have been able to have handguns in this country, I would have definitely had handguns like, but as we can't throw one idiot and kill the kids and that, which is fair enough, I understand the reason why they banned them, but like I've said before, we're on about guns and things like that. It's not guns that kill people, it's people that kill people. That's what it is. Same as all this, we in the UK they've stopped selling razor blades on, on uh, eBay. But yeah, you can go and buy a kitchen knife. How ridiculous. What if somebody sat at back of a desk with a white shirt on and a, and a tie, thinking, what shit can we cause today? Let's see if we can put some more shit in coats. Jesus, you know what I mean? It's unreal. Because that's all they do, just make rules up. And uh, you know what I mean? I, I've never been government minded. I, I, I think they're the most corrupt people in the world, honest truth. This government we've got, now a conservative government, they're the most corrupt government I've ever known, to be honest. All they're doing is lining their own pockets offshore banks and all this lot, and Richie Sunak, Prime Minister, his wife's got a multi-billionaire, billionaire and all, I mean, it's oh, massive cons, honestly. Jesus Christ, absolutely ridiculous. But this country, they seem to stand for it, you know what I mean? They stand for a lot of things, what I'm not going to go into what's really winds me up, to be fair, like, but I'm not going to go into it. So I'll just get called racist and things like that, so I'm not even going to bother going into it. But I'll just give you one for instance, and then I'll shut up. These are our veterans who saved the country, you know, 14 years or whatever they've done for this country. They fought in Afghanistan, they fought all over the place, everywhere, for their country, and to give people a better life. You get some boat people coming across from Dover to Calais, or Calais to Dover, should I say, on these rubber inflatable dinghies, and they give them a house furnished, and they complain because they ain't got this television, they ain't got that. Yet our lads, our army lads, are suffering and sleeping on the streets. Some of them sleeping on streets, yet they give a family a house, somewhere to live, give them money, free money, free money. I've done because it winds me up to death, honestly. It really does get me going. So, when you can get our own people, veterans, that's having to sleep on the streets, when you get certain families from different parts of the world come across here, for a better life. I can understand that. But where's the families? The old single men that come over here. No women, no kids. Where are they all? <laughs> Unbelievable. And this government stands for it. That's what makes me laugh. This government stands for it. This government stands for it. Right guys, I'm just having a usual pick up now. Yes, they stand for it, I'm afraid. It's going corrupt as I only swore then, I only said flip then. <laughs> corrupt as hell. Absolutely ridiculous. Well, I'm chucking soap everywhere here. I've got to look at this lot. I'm covering it. Oh, God, some more. She's just put me in with this with helmets. <laughs> clean, put a clean vest on. Oh my God. 
Who's trying to bob it? <coughs> right. Just touch up spots now. That's BBS, guys, that is. Or it will be in a minute. That is. Yeah. Poor people, poor men. You have to wait in a queue in 15, 15, 15 families before you can get even put on list. <laughs> Unreal. Unreal. Make me laugh, you know, like, I know I'm going on about it again, but we go to like a flea market on a Sunday now and again. It's called a car boat in this country. Let's see what they've got, see if they've got any razors and you shall get some plants and bits and bobs and that. And uh, it's always full of these uh, asylum seekers and they don't know what to do with money. They're just buying anything. Anything. The old smoking tailor made fags that, what are they a packet now? 12 pound a packet are they? Just gets me goat guys, you know what I mean? It winds me up to there. That's it. That's pretty. That's it guys, that'll do me. That's pretty much done. Yeah, so we'll stop there. We're not gonna further. <laughs> yeah. I wrapped it in too tight this time. Yeah, was just... That feels nice. That feels good. Beautiful. Let's empty this. Empty the sink. Have a quick rinse. Again, uh, Mr. Allen. <laughs> I hope you're all in good shape this week. Or well, this weekend, you've had them. Or... <laughs> Little bit stingy under the chin, aren't you? On one or two, perhaps. Just the usual place where I keep going over and over and over it. That's that. Right. Now we will use a bit of fears first. That's not a medic, can I? Don't know. You can only go so far, the medic, and I ain't got everything. American, unfortunately. A little bit of an American theme. 
NTF BS coconut. Nice, this. Oh, it's absolutely lovely. Put some more on there. Beautiful stuff. Oh, it's nice and refreshing, that. So what are you up to the rest of this week? Because I've not got much on, I don't think, this week. I don't think. I've got to take my van for MOT on Thursday. Uh, hopefully we'll get that through test. That's my camping van. Uh, what are use for camping? Uh, what else have I got to do? Not a lot else, I don't think, this week. But... Uh, that's Thursday. I don't know. I'm not sure I've got somewhere else. I'm in a barber shop now. Nah. Hmm. Be the barbers. Plenty of barber shop. I like it. That's all right. Huh? And that, guys, is about it, apart from a, I'll put a bit of uh, balm on. Bit of this, Sensitive Pro Ultra Calming Moisturiser. That's what we use, Nivea Men. Not putting a lot on, I'm just going to put a little smidgen on that, so. Just a lot as it is, so it's going to run up. And that's it. Let's have a look. Oh. oh, it's nice. Audi. It's Audi showroom condition, that. Defo. Definitely Audi showroom condition. Definitely. So, right guys, we'll go through it. My young towel. We've used after shave Sterling American Barber Shop. Let's put that back while we're at it. We can find where it comes from. Got that many on here. Uh, the brush we used today was the pearl. 24mm American theme, Stars and Stripes. It was in the fine accoutrements bowl, mixing bowl. We used the Rex Ambassador on three and a half with in it a Gillette blade from Boston, Massachusetts. That's where I think it's from, isn't it? I think so, because it's Massachusetts, I think it is Boston, Massachusetts, yeah. We've used the P, American PAA block. And we've used Van Ule's Curuline, which is smells lovely. What they say, well, apple, they say cedar, apple, cedar, and something like bellflower and musk. Nice. And thanks, big thanks to Chuck Shaving Channel for sending me all these. I've got tons and tons of soap samples where he sent me. Tons of them. So I'll be classed as forever. So, right, we've used a squirty bottle. And that's last bit. Right, guys, that's it for this one. Thanks all very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. When I get to 300 subscribers, I'm going to have a giveaway. I've got another 100 to go yet, just over 100, I've got 198 subs now, so that's not bad, you know, is it, really, so, uh, have a look on your thingies for full, on hold and review, for review, for review on YouTube, or it could be in your spam folders, me, me pictures, or me, me um, messages and things like that, so, have a look, guys, and we'll catch you all, Daisy.
Tuesday, probably one day this weekend, Saturday or Sunday. Thanks for watching. Bye for now, fellas.